hey what's up everybody welcome to the barn dominium project uh, it's been a long time coming i've wanted to have a youtube channel for a long time you know uh just real quick a little bit about me my name's mark uh i'm, I'm a little bit of a handyman i've always liked you know building stuff and uh you know doing work around my house um you know the if you follow in the housing market you know it's crazy right now um so what i've done is i sold my house uh, i bought an rv and uh, i'm gonna build a barn dominium uh, it's actually gonna be a still uh, a steel building that i'm gonna put on my property i just bought and then uh i'm gonna walk you through all the steps there's going to be lots of videos we're going to show everything we're going to show you know the land we're going to show the foundation the building um i think the next video i'm going to have the lot cleared a little bit it is already cleared but i'm going to get it freshened up um we're going to show you insulation in a still building we're going to show you framing uh we're going to do it all we're going to do it all um this is my dog sarge Say hi, Sarge. Sarge. So he's he's coming along for the ride. Um, so right now I'm just at this RV park. I'm going to be staying here for hopefully maybe just a month or two. It's about 10 minutes down the street from the lot that I just bought. Uh, I'll stay here until I can get my permits approved and I can get power and septic on the property and then once i can get that done i'm going to have my rv moved over to the property and i'll be living on the property uh while the whole project uh comes together so let's just walk over to my rv to show you guys what i got going on <laughs> what my life's going to be like for the next year or so um if you've ever thought about you know doing something like this hopefully this video will inspire you you know economy's crazy right now save your money where you can let's see here where are we at i'll just kind of pan around show you the park a little bit So this is me. This is a 2022 Coleman Lantern. Uh, just a small little camper to, to get me by. I'll do a quick little walk around with you. And then I'll show you the inside in a minute. A couple little improvements that I've done. This is actually my buddy. He bought a, a camper too. He's my roommate. So he's going to go with me. Uh, when we get moved over the property, he's got the same, he's got the same camper. Not terrible. Not terrible. So that's that all hooked up again. Hopefully, hopefully we're only here for a, a month or two. I'd much rather be on the the property so give me a minute uh, I'll show you a little bit of the inside all right so let me just give you a quick little tour inside of the RV it's a little bit of a mess I just moved in but just again just show you what I'm working with uh, in the meantime so so this is when you come in the door you got a um, uh, it's called a short queen size bed right here it's got a little shelf up top which is nice you got my little tv over here it's got a window ac unit which i kind of like in case something ever goes wrong i can just swap it out um now right here there used to be a dinette you can still see one of the bunks right here which i absolutely hated it's just me and sarge so um i took all the measurements before i bought it and i built at my house i think i got some pictures i can throw in the video uh 
but I built this desk because uh, I'm gonna need a workstation. So this is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of emails, paperwork to get all my permits. Um, it's got two bunks over here, full of my stuff, ignore that. Bathroom there, little kitchen, all the basic necessities that I'll need. This is Florida. <laughs> um, there was a skylight here. I had to put some foil uh, insulation. It just gets too hot in here. It's the middle of summer. Um, but that's really it. It's a nice little camper for the price. It's Again, it's brand new. It's the cheapest model I could find. You know, I'm only gonna maybe be in it, you know, six months to a year maybe, so. It's all I needed. It's all I needed. Um, now the goal of the Barn Dominion project, the channel, you know, again, I, I sold my house. I made some good money just because of the market. Uh, my goal is to take my profits from my house and build my new house so I'm, I'm mortgage free. So that's really the whole goal of uh, that's really the whole scope of this entire project to live mortgage free um, show everybody how it's done I know a lot of people are scared to make that kind of leap I was too a little bit um, but if you've thought about it you know maybe this video or this channel will inspire you um, okay so enough about this this, this channel is not about my RV it's about the, the barn dominium project and uh, all the work to be done on the lot. Um, I was really lucky. As a matter of fact, the day I sold my house was the day that I closed on this piece of land that I've been looking at. So I am the owner of this new piece of land. So um, I'm really excited about it. Let's go check it out. So here it is, my buddy Sarge coming along for the ride. So the lot is already cleared, so I was lucky. I believe it is about 1.2 acres. It did already have a driveway put in, which is nice. It's a little overgrown. We'll get it trimmed up. Let's just take a quick look around. 
no neighbors which is the main thing there is a neighbor across the street but we'll put a fence up and some some trees to block that there is one nice pine tree over there we want to make sure we don't build the house too close to that that's a big one nice tree come on son. So the building that I'm ordering, it's going to be a 30 by 40, it's going to be 1200 square feet, nothing huge. It's going to be two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, it'll probably go in this area somewhere. I want to try to keep it close to the driveway away from that, that big pine tree over there. It's going to have well. It's gonna have a septic. I gotta get some people out still to find out where is gonna be the best place to put that. We'll put a fence up again along the front. Let's walk the perimeter. trash and I'm gonna go over all the pricing and everything give everybody an idea of what the total cost for the whole project is gonna be What's the matter? Stay. We'll stay out over there. there. Might be some snakes. Have to get it cleaned up a little bit. But this is it. This is where the Barn Dominium project's gonna go down. So if you like this kind of video, I mean, if you're anything, if you're anything like me, you're on YouTube getting as much as you can. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps, everything. Uh, I'm gonna go through the designs, the permitting process. Um, this is residential, so there are permits and rules that I do have to follow. I have to get stuff approved before I can build. Um, we're gonna go through all that. Uh, the, the building I will have ordered and put into place. I will be hiring out some work. I'm not gonna do everything myself, mostly just because of, of time. I'm trying to get out of the RV park and into my home as soon as possible. Um, but we're gonna uh, go through everything, the building, the foundation, insulating the building. Uh, we don't want condensation here in Florida. That could be a problem um framing we'll do pretty much all of that ourselves um everything we're going to show you the whole process start to finish uh all the little projects uh, around here um the well the septic we'll, we'll make sure that we include all of that i'm going to show everybody how to do everything you know all, all the videos i've watched online myself um you know sometimes i don't i don't find exactly what i'm looking for you know uh youtube is one of my favorite places to look uh but sometimes i just don't find what i'm looking for so i want to be sure to include all the little stuff i couldn't find uh for all of you guys so that you don't have uh any you know unanswered questions about you know how to do something like this so um that's that's really about it for now uh stay tuned um, the next video hopefully will be uh, us either out here 
cleaning this up a little bit or um, I think the first step is I need to get my uh, septic guy out here so they can do a soil test it, it, it's a lot of steps it, it's a lot of steps um but the next time we come back out here i'll bring you with me and, and and we'll see hopefully we'll have the the building in a few weeks still need to order that um foundation it's a lot so there's gonna be a lot of videos it's gonna be a fun fun project uh if you haven't already please like the video subscribe to the channel um it's gonna be a fun ride see you on the next one